I am Dietmar Ostermann, I'm your host this afternoon, and I'm the regular guy from Long Island. We have a special show today, an electric vehicle, perfect to pick up a case of wine and be green at the same side. Look at the Electra Mechanica Solo. It has three wheels, two in the front, one in the back. It has two doors, left and right, but only one seat. Who needs a 4,300 pound vehicle to pick up a case of wine? Nobody, but this vehicle can pick up a case of wine. It goes 80 miles an hour, ladies and gentlemen, 80 miles an hour. And has a reach of 100 miles before it needs recharging. And it has the best energy consumption per mile of any electric vehicle because it's not that heavy. Come around here, let me show you some of the top features. You open the door, this is the white vehicle. We also have it in red, black, and silver. You have an elegant black leather wrap interior with a lot of features in here. But the main feature for this purpose here is this button right here. It pops open the trunk. Look at the trunk. Pops right open and ladies and gentlemen, what do you see here? Two cases of wine, six bottles each. Fit right into this beautiful small trunk. You can also put a small dock in here. And the best ladies and gentlemen, it only costs $18,500. That's no more than a golf cart. The absolute vehicle for lifestyle enthusiasts that also drink a glass of wine from time to time. Now, Solo is not only a fun niche electric vehicle, Solo is also the name of a fantastic Napa Valley Cabernet from the Silverado Vineyards. It's a high-end wine done from a specific UC Davis approved clone. And it's done and grown in the Stack Sleep district of Napa Valley. So further in the south of Napa Valley. And you have the cooling influences from the San Pablo Bay. Solo is a single vineyard wine. That's where the whole thing comes back to each other. The Solo vehicle is a single passenger, very economic electric vehicle, but solo means that all of the grapes from this particular vine come from the vineyard around the main binary. Let's check out this high-end Silverado solo. The color is deep ruby, almost leaning towards purple. And since I have a 2015 here, the wine had a chance to age further in the bottle. So the deep ruby color is developing a little bit more towards a brownish type of tone. Let's give it a sniffy sniff. Beautiful cassis plum, blackberry fruit aromas, even without shaking the wine around, but uh, let's unlock some of those aromas even a little bit more. Pronounced fruit aromas. Not only do we have the fruit aromas here, but we also have some secondary and tertiary aromas. I uh, recognize some leather, there's some tobacco in here. Uh, some toasty oak, a plethora of aromas, a very well made wine. Let's give it a whirl. Those fruity aromas also find themselves 
in strong fruity flavors. I would say on the palate you have a little bit more of the red currant coming through. Also the blackberry. There's clearly a little bit of the leather and tobacco notes as well in the flavor profile. A complex wine, no doubt. I give this wine a 4.5. Now this wine was rated 4.2 by Wine Spectator and 4.4 by the majority of the Vivino Raiders. And unfortunately, because it's the high-end wine of the Silverado Vineyard, run by the Miller family, which is related to uh, the Disney family, the uh, 2015 Solo I had to purchase for about $120. The regular Silverado is also worth exploring. That comes much more and an affordable price of $40. To sum it all up for you, I introduce to you today in this video a solo vehicle by Electra Mechanica and the solo wine, a Cabernet Sauvignon by Silverado. And I do recommend that you try out both. On the solo, I have here the spec sheet in front of me. This is a zero emissions vehicle, obviously all electric, charges on 110 volt standard outlet, has a range of uh, up to 100 miles and a three year 36,000 mile warranty. The vehicle has three wheels, two doors, one seat, and is the most economical electric vehicle out there at the moment. Try it out, book a test drive, go to uh, emvauto.com slash solo and check that vehicle out. And I also want you to uh, check out the Silverado Solo. It is a very complex, balanced Cabernet. A little bit pricey, no doubt. In my judgment, the Silverado regular Cabernet has some of the same elements. It may not be quite as sophisticated and is less than half the price, so it's another option. But the 2015 Solo I tried here in this video is absolutely fabulous. That's it for the show today. I see you typically on Sundays. If you like this video, like it and subscribe to my channel. And I see you next Sunday.